so Jason, we're down with you today. Um, it's DN Crofts and Son. So what is the primary focus of your business? Um, hay and straw and baling and wrapping um, mainly. So you're contracting? Yeah, contracting. Um, and how long has the contracting side of things been in operation? About 25 years. Um, sort of started when I left school and started with a round baler and slowly grown over the years and gone to round baling and square baling. What McHale gear is it that you're running? Um, we run a set of McHale triples. Um, we run a Fusion 3, which is plastic on plastic, and we run the Mikel 998. Yeah. And do you find a lot of the farmers around here have gone to plastic on plastic rather than net wrap? Yeah. Yeah, they've all gone to plastic because they're struggling to get rid of the net because the net's becoming an issue to get rid of. They all want plastic and plastic on plastic is just easier to recycle. All our customers, now they've tried it, they don't want to go back to net. And um, we'll say, what made you decide to go with Mikhail? Backup, really, from Halls of Honiton. They've always been very good. Mikhail have been good over the years. Any problems we've had, the Mikhail stuff's built well, it's finished off well. How long have you actually been using the Mikhail products? 15 years, maybe. Um, we had the first wrapper, and we've just kept having 998 since then. You decided to go with the 998? Yeah, with this one being quicker, it seems to be on top of the job. Last week he wrapped 800 bells in a day and he didn't have a seriously late night, which is good. And he didn't start that early, so we're happy with that. <laughs> Brilliant. Do you find the speed of operation has gone up since getting the high speed? Yeah, yeah, no, it is a lot, lot better. And it's nice being able to press the button on the side to get, so you don't have to keep walking around the machine with a wrap. Um, that's a good feature. You're probably one of the only ones with the McHale triples in the southwest. Yeah. What made you kind of take the leap and go with the triples? I like the way it followed the ground, followed the gullies. We do a lot of ridge and furrow ground. Um, and I used them myself and I went to somewhere where it was particularly bad. They didn't cut through the gully and take the turf off. It followed the ground well, so that sewed it to me really. And the front mower is good. We mainly went to the triples, um, the Macaws, because we, with the side shift feature, a lot of what we do is on hills, and it's the only ones that really have got the side shift on the back mowers, um, and it does work well. It's quite an easy function. You only got to turn the tap, and away you go. If you were going buying a, a machine to replace them or any of the Macaws, would you go Macaws again? Yeah, yeah, no, I'd definitely go Macau again. Um, you know, the first year I had the Macau's last year, my neighbour and farmer looked at one of our fields and said, blimey, what did you mow that with? Because it was a perfect cut. And this year has changed his mower because of it. <laughs> well, that's brilliant to hear. Thanks a million. That's all right.